So today I want to speak about the functional illiterate. Now the best book that will explain this to a T is called Africa Unchained. The blueprint for Africa's future. Now let's dive into what is a functional illiterate. Blind copying is the product of functional illiteracy. Examples of the functional illiterate is that they're educated, they have a degree, diploma, military title, statistic fanatic, etc. But does not understand its import or the meaning of things. He or she is usually inspired by symbolism and characterized by habitual behavior. This person mimics their teacher and regurgitates material taught in class as gospel truth. They are by far incapable of independent thought or rational reasoning and embarrassingly lacks initiative. This person cannot on their own assess the inherent merit or the consistency of an idea. Basically, if the teacher approves of the idea, he accepts it without question. Now, you'll find them with the words that they like to say, like, what is your source? Who wrote that? Which author? Were they a historian? Were they a researcher? They'll meet you with, I went to this university. It's number one in the country, etc., etc. I've got a major in this and whatnot and whatnot. Not realizing that does not make you smarter than someone who did not go to an indoctrinated system of schooling. Once you already know that our education systems have been compromised, which is why you have not learnt in full depth all the truth about who we are, you will be able to spot out a functional illiterate. If you cannot read something and internalize with critical thought about what is really going on within this subject, give voice to the person being judged or the one who is being incorrectly identified because usually the source is the one describing what they're seeing. And most of the time, the one describing it could be racially profiling the person or immediately thinking that they're primitive, poor, etc., etc. So how do you then trust the source instead of the lived experience of the person who is being written about? As a person, you need to learn to walk in the shoes of the person who is being identified within your sources. Or the concept that is being explained and judged you need to understand the writer and the author why they thought or felt the way that they felt about a specific situation this is literally how cognitive dissonance was born because a lot of these writings were created to confuse you capture that brain